Hello friends, welcome to another edition of Java Learning. In today's session, we are going to learn about the string function compared to. The compared to function compares two strings lexicographically, that is dictionary order. The comparison is based on the Unicode value of each character in the strings. If string 1 and string 2 if they are the same then it will return 0. There are three possibilities either it will return 0 a positive number or a negative number. So when both the strings are equal they are returning I mean the function is returning 0. Then if string 1 is less than string 2 then it will return what a negative value and what would be the answer negative what what value that is the difference between the unicode okay we will see with the help of an example and the third possibility is what the positive value when it will give a positive value if string 1 is more than string 2 then it returns a positive value that is the difference between the characters compared and their unicode difference the syntax for compared to is string1 dot compared to string2 let us compare cat and can now when this two are compared these two strings are compared it will return a value that is a positive value a negative value or a zero therefore it is finally returning an integer that is the reason I have taken a variable result and the data type is int. Now let us compare lexographically character by character. You have C here for the first string, C for the second string also, A here, A. Now here it is differing T and A, T and N. T has the Unicode of 116 and N's uh, Unicode is what? 110. Therefore, the first string is more if, you know, 116 is more than 1110. So, if string 1 is more than string 2, it will return a positive value. Okay. So, what positive value I told you? The Unicode difference. 116 minus 110 will give you what 6 so that will be stored in result so when you print result what will be printed 6 similarly the same thing if you just bring string 2 here and string 1 on the other side so you are comparing can with cat c c a a now here you have n and t n has got you know 110 and T has got what? 116. Uh, Therefore, the first string is what? Less. If string 1 is less than string 2, it will return a negative value. So, in this case, it will return minus 6. This is actually the table for Unicode characters for uppercase that is 65 to 90 lowercase 97 to 112 digits 0 to 9 48 to 57 and for space bar it is 32 now the third possibility is what if both the strings are equal according to unicode c is what here c you have for the second string you have c a a t t so both the strings are equal therefore it is returning what zero zero is getting stored in result and you are printing result then you are getting zero let us understand uh, this particular thing with the help of a table the first string is here the second string is here and the ASCII or the unicode i have written here for C it is 99, for A it is 97 and for small t it is 116. 
Similarly, I have written for C that is 99, for A 97 and uh, for N it is 110. So you are comparing this string with this string. So this string is more, or the first string is more. So in this case 116 minus 110 is equal to 6. Now let us take the second possibility. The first string now is can and the second string now is cat. So here it is differing. 110 the first string is less okay first string if it is less than the second string it returns the negative value that is 1110 minus 116 it will return minus 6 and if both the strings are equal then it will return 0 now let us understand you know string sorting using compare to function for this, you must have the concept of array in Java. So here is the code for string sorting. This is the class. This is the min method. This is the array having four elements, Asim, Asensol, America, Africa. Now these elements are not sorted. We have to write a code for sorting these elements. Okay. So finding out the length of the array and storing it in L. This is the variable needed for swapping and this particular thing is doing what? Printing a message original array and the array elements are getting printed vertically. Now this is actually nested loop for sorting the array. And after sorting you are printing one message sorted array and you are printing the array elements sorted elements in vertical order so this is the code now let us understand the logic what is going on i is 0 and it is going till less than l that is less than 4 so it is going from 0 to 4 0 1 2 3 and when it is 0, 0 is less than 4, yes, so it comes here. j is equal to whatever i is plus 1. j is uh, right now 0, so uh, sorry, i is right now 0. So j, uh, j would be what? i plus 1, that is 1. 1 is less than 4, yes. So comparison will take place. str of j, str of j at 1 index, you have asensole and it will be compared with i index that is zeroth index asm so this is compared with this according to compared to function if you go lexographically so this is smaller so what will happen asensole will come at index 0 and Asm will go at index 1 when i is 0 and g is 1 right now you will not come out of this loop because you have to finish this loop j is right now 2 it was in the beginning 1 so it would be 2 2 is less than 4 yes so at index 2 what you have at index 2 you have America and at index 1 you know you have right now Asensol so this two will be compared and what will happen America as because it is smaller according to Unicode using compare to function so America will come at index 0 and Asensol will go in its place and this way similarly Again, at index 0, whatever you have, and at index 3, whatever you have, this will be compared with index 0 element that is America. So, Africa is being compared with America. Africa is smaller, so it's coming here, and America is going in its place. So, after this, our j would be 4 and it will terminate. So, when you come out of the inner loop, you will find that the smallest element has come up at index 0 okay so it will again go to i loop 
I would be right now 1 and J would be I plus 1 1 plus 1 so it will go from 2 to 3 and the same process for you know sorting will take place you know swapping comparison all kind of thing that you are doing here and it will bring out of this three elements the smallest element and it will put it at index 1 next time these two elements will be checked the smallest element will come at index 2 and this way the entire array will be sorted and after sorting you are printing the array I hope you have understood how to sort strings now this is the output of my program original array these are the array elements sorting is taking place and then after sorting you know Africa America as in Seoul and Assam is getting printed now my question to you is what will you do to sort the array in descending order so it is written here descending make it descending order using the same bubble shot technique please do comment it will be a great pleasure to read out all your answers thank you so much for watching this video keep watching and keep learning thank you